Hello, what's happening? Matt, aka Lethal Frag here, and I'll be doing a cool video here. I'm starting a new series on how to be successful on YouTube. And I'm not that successful yet, but I think I've had pretty good success, and I want to kind of share some of the things that have helped me be successful on YouTube, in gaming, and that thing in general. Let's start off with some big announcements here. I got my partnership call from Yaush. I am now officially an alliance director for the Yaush Network. And you might be saying, what the hell, Frag? You're an FPS guy. What are you doing being an alliance director? Well, you know what? My recent, I guess, somewhat disappointment in Modern Warfare 3, it kind of made me realize that I don't have the same boyish enthusiasm that I used to for first-person shooters. And after playing Skyrim and with Diablo 3 right around the corner, you know, that's what I want to be doing, really. By no means am I going to stop playing first-person shooter games. Am I going to stop loving them? But I've, I've come to realize that now it's not going to take up 100% of my game time. I can't play first-person shooters all the time anymore. It's been, it's been over 10 years now since I've played first-person shooters almost exclusively. I'm not saying I'm done. I'm not calling it quits. I'm just I'm, I'm looking forward to Diablo 3. I'm looking forward to some RPG games. And I want to produce some content for those. So I think I can add some valuable tips to that. And, of course, the theater mode not working in Modern Warfare 3. Again, I think you hear me say this every single commentary. I wasn't able to do the kind of content I wanted to, and that's perfectly fine, but, you know, it's kind of a little bit helpful, actually. It kind of helped me realize that maybe I'm going to switch focus here a little bit. But don't worry, there'll be plenty of first-person shooter content. I'm just going to be shifting my focus to RPGs a little bit. So, for the content of this commentary, we're talking about being successful on YouTube. And since my Yaush partnership went official, obviously the paperwork's not through yet, these things take a lot of time, which makes you impatient, but you know what, I'm happy, I'm happy. But I've been asked about 30 times, are you going to be gaming for a living now? And the answer is a resounding no. I'm not going to talk dollar amounts here, I want to talk about the sheer amount of time it takes to actually make YouTube or live streaming or anything else your main income. You know, getting partnered is the first step and I'm incredibly grateful for this opportunity with Yaush. Uh, I'm really excited to start producing content and making some money. But realistically, for me, making gaming my full-time living is probably another two or three years down the road, if I'm lucky. You know, if I do really well, two or three years. You know, maybe four or five before I could actually quit my job safely and, you know, not do anything but play video games. And I think what a lot of people don't realize when they start getting into YouTube, they start making videos, they, they get partnered, they want to make money, is that you're getting paid pennies on the dollar by YouTube. They're not paying you that much. Live streaming pays a little bit more. But it's not enough to live off unless you're live streaming 24-7 and you have an absolutely gigantic channel. And I was kind of looking back at all the time I've spent so far working on Twitter, spending time editing videos, doing commentaries, and just over the past nine months. And I can, I can easily say that I've put in probably 2,000, 2,500 hours, maybe even more. I'm not sure. And the point I'm trying to make in this commentary here is that you don't just hop on YouTube and throw up some videos and become famous. I mean, it can happen. It's like winning the lottery if that happens. And you'd have to be incredibly charismatic and, you know, put up some brilliant stuff for that to happen. And, you know, most people when they first start are not capable of that. It's really a learning process when you get into YouTube, you know, fixing the quality of your content becoming a confident commentator, a becoming a great video editor. These things take months, they take years. And it's something that you have to constantly work forward to and really set goals for yourself. Uh, you know, be consistent with your content, be putting up content all the time. You know, even a two or three week lapse in your content can have a major effect. I stopped posting videos for about, I want to say, two or three weeks. And so after that, I said, okay, I'm going to do 30 videos in a month for November. And I think I got up to like 26, 27, something like that. I didn't quite make it. But it was really rough when I first started posting again. I wasn't getting very many views. And that's because I was inactive. 
So you know what, if you want to make YouTube your living, if that's your dream, and that's a lot of people's dream right now, you know, it's really chasing the dream to play video games for a living. You know, just be expecting that you're going to have to put in a lot of time and effort. Don't don't take it half-heartedly. Think it's, uh, think it's going to go well. I mean, when I was three months into this, out of nine months, I think I had 35 subscribers. And while that was incredibly frustrating, I had a clear goal for myself, and... You know, you'll find that just one day, it just it just kind of happens. Think the ball starts rolling the right way. So, you know, in this whole series, I'm be talking about you know different things that I've done that haven't worked, that have worked. Uh, you know, things that have been been good for me, and also things that have hurt me. You know, it's really just an experimentation process, especially with my social media. I've tried out a lot of different strategies. You know, I think I got I think I got it pretty much down now. But you know, as I've said, I've spent thousands of hours working on this stuff. It's really an obsession for me. So I know at the end of the day, I'm going to be playing video games for a living. And yeah, I'm sure you've noticed by now, I'm not a great sniper on Battlefield 3, and that's the reason I was sitting up in this corner. I was trying to figure out the bullet drop on this particular sniper, which I, I kind of got it figured out by the end of the film, but you know. So lead me to another thing. A lot of people think they have to have beastly gameplays to be successful. And I don't find that to be the case. Um, in Black Ops, I had a lot of really nice gameplays. Battlefield 3, not so much. A good gameplay for me probably only happens 1 out of 10 games. And you know each, each game is 20 minutes long. The quality of your content goes a lot further than beastly gameplays, than, you know, getting the mother of all bombs, or being the MVP. While it's great to save these games for a really nice commentary, or a montage, or something, don't let that stop you from posting content on your YouTube channel. As a commentator, I've found that people more or less want to hear you talk more than they want to see you play. And you will get some hate for that, for putting up, I guess, crappy gameplays. But I mean, this is what I do. I get to play the game. My gaming time has suffered incredibly since I started getting on YouTube. I don't have as much time anymore. Uh, you know, I'm busy responding on Twitter. I'm busy editing video. I'm busy doing commentaries. All these things that don't allow me to put in these mass amounts of time. And that's going to bring me to one of my last points in this commentary is that if you want to be successful on YouTube, if you want to make gaming your living, you're not going to be much of a gamer for a while. And while it's nice to go sit down, put the 8 and 10 hour sessions, that's not always good for you because you could be using that time to further your goals. And that's really the, I guess, sad reality of it from a gaming perspective is you have to put in the time to edit videos and you have to put in the time to talk to people and promote yourself. And all these things take away time from your gaming, you know, from your family, all these other things. So, you know, if you want to do this, you know, really make it a goal. Set clear goals for yourself on where you want to be in two months, where you want to be in three months, where you want to be in six months. And really work towards those goals. Don't let gaming or anything else get in the way of that. You know, post the content that you want to. Work on being a better commentary, a better commentator. <laughs> As I stumble, I say that. You know, put up, put up everything that you can to get feedback from people. The more content you post, the better. The more commentaries you do, the better you're going to be. You know, if commentaries aren't your thing, it's not your thing. But I think they're a really effective way to grow. It's all about putting that content up and making that time sacrifice to be, you know, the best person you can be. The best gamer you can be. Well, I'm going to leave you with four words. Yowsh, damn it! Frag out.